Hi guys, this is Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. I am back here with a tutorial on using the fair compressor in your X32. So today we're gonna to be running a bunch of drum channels into our stereo bus and then using this compressor on the stereo bus to alter the sound of your drum set. Now the great thing about the um, fair compressor is there's a mode called the MS, which is the middle or side, or is the original Fairchild 670 called the lat vert. Basically, this takes the stereo spread of channels, puts them into the compressor, processes the mono or sum different from the difference or sides of the compressor. So basically we can take this and really go in and compress the center of the stereo spread, like the kick drum and the snare, and leave the sides or usually the overheads uncompressed. So there's two ways to adjust the actual compression that this is going to be giving us. We can adjust the input gain or we can adjust the threshold. So if we raise the input gain, that's going to be hitting the threshold at an earlier time, which would give more compression. If you do choose to use this knob and bring the input gain up, you will end up giving yourself more gain in the end. So you'll want to go ahead and adjust your output gain into a negative number to keep that back to not adding any gain in the signal chain. The other way of adjusting the threshold down is by taking our threshold knob and taking it into a clockwise position, basically raising this. So let me go ahead and put some, um, some drums into this and we will check this out. So I'm gonna way over compress this today so you can really listen to it at home. So make sure you go get a good pair of headphones and listen to an HD version of this so you can really hear this. So we're gonna take the threshold and we're just gonna take this all the way to the right. And so you can see that we're already on the center channels. We're taking about negative three, negative four dB of compression on this. Now uh, with our gain reduction, if we do bring in that much compression, we'll want to take our output gain and bring that up to the same amount that we are compressing. Now, I want you to listen to this and just listen to the center of this spectrum to see the difference as I take this in and out. So I'm not gonna adjust the output gain here. We're just gonna be listening to the amount of compression that's happening in the middle of the stereo spectrum. So here it is out. And here it is in. Out. In. Now I can also show this to you by using the output gain. We're gonna go ahead and turn down the center a lot. So we're gonna turn this all the way down. We're gonna put this into an active. So you just notice that the center just completely cut away. Now let's take a look at this on the sides. So we're gonna go ahead and press our layer down button to check out the sides. And we are gonna turn this down to negative 18. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert this compressor again. And here it is off. And here it is on. So what you noticed here is that when we compress or reduce the volume on the sides, we're taking away the really far stereo spread of the stereo spectrum. Now when we take away the middle, we're taking out a chunk of the center of the stereo spectrum. So say you had your mix and it sounded awesome, but you had that center vocal right in the middle and it wasn't being able to just push through the mix loud enough. What you could do is you could take your drums into this fair compressor and you can compress just the middle of the mix, which would allow you to get the middle of the drums to come down in volume just a little bit, but you'd still be able to have that really loud drum sound in the stereo spread. So let's go ahead and actually use this compressor and get the kick drum and snare to kind of pop through a little bit more and then kind of maybe uh, reduce the amount of cymbals that you have in the stereo spread. Now let's go ahead and actually compress some drums here and that way you can actually hear this in use. So we're gonna go ahead and take the threshold knob and take this up until we're getting a little bit of compression. Now one thing to note about the bias knob is if I take this right, we'll notice that our gain reduction is going to keep going down. So we're actually gonna have more compression. So let's go ahead and check that out real quick. 
you really hear it compressing really heavily when we use this bias knob. Now also we can note that if I take this bias knob counterclockwise, we'll reduce the amount of compression that we're having. So now we're not even compressing. So let's put this back to 50 here. And I wanted to also show you raising the input gain for um, giving yourself compression. Now you can notice that when we turn the input gain up, our meters up here are just kind of going crazy. So um, if I take this out and back in, you'll notice that the center channel is really, really loud. So we'd want to, if we're going to be using the input gain as giving our compression, make sure you take the output gain and adjust it so that you're getting an even volume going into the compressor and out of the compressor. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the stereo spark. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change the time on this um, to be one of our program modes. So let's go ahead and put this to position five. So now that we're compressing and giving a little bit of gain on both the middle and the side, I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and then put it back in to give you an example of kind of what this sounds like. So let's go ahead and take this out. And let's put this back in. So the meters aren't changing much. So we're staying around the same meter volume for the peaks, but we're just limiting the top of it and that we're bringing up the perceived volume of the entire drums here. Now if you were wanting to reduce the amount of the middle section to give this a wider stereo spread, you'd want to go ahead and compress the middle section more. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this with it off. And now let's go ahead and listen to this in. Now what you notice is when I turn it on, that snare drum and the kick drum just gets more distant from you. Instead of being really loud right in your face, it's just a little bit farther distant. That wraps up this tutorial on the Fair Compressor, which is part of the effects section of the Behringer X32 today. Like I was saying, this is an emulation of the Fairchild 670, so if you want some more information, go Google that and take a look. Um, this is a very awesome compressor being able to compress a stereo spread of signals, which is going to be going farther than just using the channel compressors or the mix bus compressors that are built into the console. If you have any questions, feel free to post below. Also, check out my brand new website, which has a lot of information for you guys. It's dbbaudio.com. Again, that's dbbaudio.com. There's a link below. Thank you so much, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial.